Hi, my name is Julio Sanchez. I'm the product marketing engineer for our general purpose analog and RF product portfolio at ST Microelectronics. In today's webinar, we will be talking about how to implement social distancing solutions with our Bluetooth Low Energy and the way ST can help our customers speed up their design and time to market. Social distancing through Bluetooth LE can be achieved through beacons and scanning of Bluetooth LE nodes. Since the device sending the beacon advertises its transmit power, the receiving component can use the data in relation to its RSSI to determine the distance between both of them using the following equation. This implementation is based on a non-connectable environment to let as many tags as possible to be able to work together. In this reference design, we decided to use iBeacons since they are simple to implement with a reliable performance and they are able to run on iOS and Android. We are using channels 37, 38 and 39 for advertisement. Now let's describe the process between two nodes, which could be any type of device such as a band or a tag. The process is started by band 1 generating beacons with a known TX power. Band 2 scans and detects these beacons, checks for the RSSI and stores the device ID and the time in flash. At the same time, it also advertises generating beacons, which in turn band 1 detects, checks for the RSSI as well, and stores both the ID and the timestamp in flash. Now let's talk about the factors affecting the RSSI value of the signal. One of these factors is the rotation, since it produces a tilting in the antenna. In order to have an idea of how this rotation affects the RSSI value of the signal, we tested 500 samples under these conditions. As a result, we got a 2 to 3 dBm difference in average. The RSSI value is also affected by the position of the transmitter node or tag, in this case node B, with respect to the antenna on the receiver, in this case node A. To have a better understanding of how the position is affecting the RSSI value of the signal with respect to a fixed node, we tested 500 samples under these conditions. As a result of this test, we got a similar result than the previous one. We saw, in average, a 2 to 3 dBm difference between the values. In regards to the power consumption, we took the following considerations. Nodes will be in sleep mode for 12 hours. We consider this as night mode. For the remaining time, the nodes will go into sleep mode for one second if no beacon is received for two seconds. With this assumption, we can say that 33% of the devices will be in sleep mode, that is, four hours. And 66% of the time, the devices will be in active mode, that is, eight hours. Having the above in mind, in a day, the device will be in active phase for 8 hours. With these numbers, we get up to 18 days of battery life with a battery of 250 milliamp hour capacity, which are really good results for this type of applications. Apart from the power consumption, another key consideration for this type of applications is that they need to be low cost. Having this in mind, we have designed the Blue Tile to be a really low cost, complete sensor node reference design in a two layer PCB bringing from 30 to 40 percent of cost savings. Regarding certifications, customers can use it as a guide for their chip down design as it is also a fully certified board. Okay, so this is the live demo. Uh, my colleague Sergio and I, we are now not uh, in a, uh, we're not respecting social distancing. We are too close to each other. The two boards uh, are blinking uh, red, indicating that uh, uh, the distance is not uh, respected. Now I try to move out farther away and as you see now the LED they turn uh, back on green uh, indicating that we are expecting the two meters or six feet uh, at social distancing. I try to move back uh, closer again and here the two boards uh, they get back to blinking red uh, indicating that we are no longer respecting the distance. Thank you. Thank you.